from Wankerty. Scottish Cup second round tie. Wankerty versus Bone Sharinke. On the bleachers. It was just the history about you know, why you're called the bleachers. Uh, it's going back years ago. They were a very small village, but we had a bunch of us down the back. We did a lot of cloth for dining and that for a uh, bunch of bed clothes and such things and that. So uh, it's no longer here now. Uh, it's long gone, but that was the main thing of the village where most of the, the village workers actually went. Hence the nickname the bleachers. That's, that's maybe called the bleachers. Thanks. So interesting entrance to the ground. Have you play park there for the kids? Welcome to Brownlands Park. There we go, home of the bleachers. Uh, how familiar are you with the uh, Lunkerty? Yeah, well, this is, we'll, we'll keep an eye on all, all the leagues. This is that, like me, last season, my last kind of playing season was, was I was at uh, Armadale uh, right. um, and, and at Bowness before then. So, well aware of the, the teams that are, that are involved in the pyramid and stuff like that. And again, that's. That's what the Scottish Cup gives you. It gives you opportunities to come and play at places like Wankarty and stuff like that. So, um, again, parts looking in good condition. We're looking forward to looking forward to the game. Um, it'll be, like I say, it'll be a good, hopefully, a good Scottish Cup tie played in the right spirit. Um, and like I say, hopefully, after 90 minutes that we we manage to we manage to get into the next round. Yeah. It's to be knowing who you're going to be playing, so that'll be a wee uh, boost. Of course, aye. That'll be, like I say, it's a, it's, a, it's a big, big incentive for both both our club and for for uh, for Lancarty, um, to, to to potentially have a, a next round draw at, at Green at Morton, um, especially down there. Again, they're, they're a obviously well established uh, league club. Yeah. Um, they'll have a good support. It'll be a good atmosphere. It'll be a good, very very good round, and um, it'll be a good opportunity for the for uh, uh, for ourselves or Lancarty to, uh, to to kind of play against a team at that level in this in, in the cup. So, and again, and that's. That's that's what the Scottish Cup's all about, you know what I mean? Um, so no, it's a massive, massive opportunity for us. Um, but likewise, Lancarty. But first and foremost, we've got to take care of the business today. Um, and whoever does that, obviously gets that gets a good opportunity to play Greenock. Thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah. I'm going to do a wee walk around the ground here. Yeah, quite quite raised up here at the top. Yeah, found a pie hut. There we go. Well, I've raised it aside as well, but that's awfully steep. <laughs> Well, there's a camera guy, he's no undercover today. Hey, hello, spectators behind the goals there. Um, I'm going to sneak under here. And the dugouts there, wooden ones. And there's another dugout. I know it's a legacy from the past, they've actually got the old home dugout there in the middle, and the two uh, dugouts now, and they've got that, that where the gantry is, is the uh, the old a wee dugout. Now you have to have two dugouts uh, side by side, and uh, but there's still a legacy. Some grounds have still got the two dugouts either side, but I think it's East of Scotland League now. You have to have two dugouts the same side. So there you go. There's a wee bit. Hey Gordon, tell me your story. Why you're here? Well, I'm an Ayrshire boy. I've uh, travelled up for uh, Ayrshire today. The uh, Cross Hill Thistle Amateurs. They're playing in Carty Amateurs in the right. Scottish Amateur Cup. Right. Uh, my son plays with Cross Hill Thistle Amateurs, so we travelled up in the bus. Uh, it's a two o'clock kick off. Uh, originally, right, I'm a Auckland Lake Talbot right. uh, supporter. Auckland <laughs> Lake Talbot today, they're also playing the Scottish Junior Cup up at Aberdeen. Oh, they? They're playing uh, the Bridge of Dawn. So, aye, that's my story, that's why I'm here. That's really good. There's a uh, reason the people you meet a football, you know, that's, that's a, what I would think. It's a, great, it's a great sport, eh? Aye, I, I'm just chatting about it earlier as well, it's a uh, football's universal, it brings so many people together and uh, it's just, and we seem to speak a universal language as well That's it. Uh, when we're talking about football, you know, you could be talking to somebody for, I don't know, Argentina, Brazil, but if you're talking football, you seem to connect and understand each other, That's it, yeah. which is brilliant. Okay, thanks uh, very much. Cheers. And you produce a good programme, two pounds. Uh, in answer to your query, in the, uh, from the First World War onwards, there used to be large bleach works yes. in the village here. And the reason being was because of the purity of the water of oh, the really? River Tay. Yeah. Um, and also, somewhat unbelievably, there was a, uh, the, they had a large drying green down towards the, the River Tay, and the quality of the light and the sunlight was near ideal for, uh, for bleaching. And they had big contracts with um, the other 
uh, fairly large or even larger um, firm in the area, uh, Pullers yeah. Bleach Works. Pullers of Perth. Pullers of yeah, Perth. That's right. So they subcontracted to one another for that. And uh, the whole of the village in those days was uh, probably only about 70 or 80 houses, most of which are just across the road from the, uh, from the pitch here and uh, most of which are uh, still intact. Eventually the whole uh, village, uh, village was closed, a uh, major source of employment, a lot of the locals drifted away, yeah. and, uh, but the name stuck with the, the football club. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pending from your, your uh, most recent cup ties, that was... That was Loch Ness in the first the qualifying round. Right. And then we were away to Newton Stewart in the second qualifying round. Very good. And then we have one when we played Keith. Which is down at the bottom Keith. of the bar. Right, yeah. have a look. And that's the one from Keith. That's the one from Keith, sir, yeah. Steak pies are good. I'm told there's a wee butcher up the, up the road there and it's won the awards. I have to say, folks, that's one of the best steak pies I'll ever get. Up there with the pie of the gala and Dalkey Thistle. Thing is, it's probably best because it's £2.50. Excellent value. Ah, brilliant. I noticed uh, your league form wasn't that good to start with, but you've won a few games, and that'll get you the confidence now uh, to go forward in the Scottish Cup side. Um, we have certainly picked up, certainly picked up a wee bit, and we're off the, the foot of the table, which is good. Um, maybe no great, not having so many games to keep the momentum going, but yeah. um, hopefully we can keep it going as, as quick as we can and get back to, to winning ways again. Because the important thing is uh, to get through, but then you've got that added incentive. Is it Morton you'll be playing? Totally. I mean, we know it's at the other side of this game if we if we go and win it, but it's taking care of the, the game that's in front of us now. No that's point right. worrying about Morton. We've got to take care of today's fixture. So, yeah, we've just got to turn up today. Good All right. Good boy! Well, that's uh, Bonish and uh, Blue and one cut day. <laughs> the wee mascot there, well done. Uh, and the uh, yellow and black. Right, so it's Bonish United to kick off. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's a wee flare there. <laughs> Come Corner, corner of Bonessa, that's the first corner of the game. Oh. 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 
Oh, he's a giant sailor. Oh, he's a giant sailor. 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 He's a giant Oh, 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 come on. Must be a deflection there, right? Eh? Oh, no, come on, eh? no, no, yes. no. <laughs> Box here, right edge of the box. Oh, a yellow card. That's the same yellow card. The uh, oh, 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 That's a half time, no scoring. I'll get some half time uh, analysts here. I'm beside a lot of Bone Ace fans. Colin, Ben. Colin, uh, not much in it, and, uh, but you, I mean, you're not very happy. I heard no, your shout no. <laughs> But it's a scrappy game. It's no, it's no, no, we're not playing football. Eh? It's, uh, it's a pretty tight part. Though. Yeah. The uh, part's quite heavy at the looks of it, but there's certainly no football getting played here today. No. I think uh, there's been a lot of rain, and I think, uh, you know, compared to what you, you know, we're playing your faster <laughs> tough. Playing eh? faster tough. It's a yeah. bit faster game, eh? So this, it slowed the game down, but yeah. we're no. We're no playing as a team at the moment. Oh, we've had Mid a couple of chances though. Yeah, we've had a few chances, but we're, the middle of the part's non-existent, to be honest. But yeah. uh, well, let's hopefully change it in the second half. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cheers. Thank Great. you. Hi, I'm uh, Wally, uh, born in United, die hard, uh, and here we are at one Carty. Yeah. Um, a bit scrappy so far, first half, 0-0. No, no, and, uh, there's not really much to say. Uh, man of the match so far is one Carty's keeper, aye. I would say. So a couple of good uh, saves, eh? By, by a mile. So, yeah. Aye. But you can change it half-time, I reckon, eh? Your, your manager will come up with some. Well, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so, aye. Right. I can't well, you said to say the pitch is heavy. That'll do as an excuse. Yeah, that's right, so yeah. So we'll take any excuse we can get them out, so. Yeah. Well, uh, give well, me two halves, I'll always say. What do you think of the first half? Uh, been a good first half, but Bonus edged it. Um, they've had three clear chances. Two very good saves for the goalkeeper. Alonker has had a couple of half chances. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, They've never created a, a clear chance. No. Um, too many goal kicks. Oh, Waste the goal kicks yeah. for a start. Um, they're only playing the left hand, well, their left hand side of the park. There's nothing coming up to their right hand side. Uh, it's leaving plenty of space for the bonus wingers. Um, I can only see it going one way unless they change some tactics. Yeah. Uh, it gets a little bit scrappy, but I mean, I think uh, if the game's here for the winner, not, not anything can happen there. Oh, anything can happen. Um, 
The, the pitch is conducive to good football, they've got to keep it on the ground. Yeah. I love it. Hi, boys. Great seeing you. I could see you again, This Norman. is your uh, territory, isn't it? Yep, it certainly is. Uh, with Saints not playing today, golden opportunity to come along and see one because you're in the Scottish Cup. Quite right. So, what do you think of the first half? There were moments when the weak differences showed up, but yeah. um, if they can hold out and one could, they could get the first goal, yeah. they could actually win this. Well, see, no, no, anything can happen, yeah. eh? Yep, yeah. I think it's just like the game that we were at a couple of weeks ago. That's right. First goal will be vital. If one can, they can get it, you never know what might happen. Well, you were right the last time, weren't yeah, you? That, that game you were indeed. talking about, Hullfield Smiths. Yep. That's right. Well done. Thanks, man. Right. Cheers, man. Oh, there's kick-off. There's a wee round of asking, uh, talking to fans. Hey, it's Gucci and Martin again. Right, so I'm going to go back round there to where I was standing. Beside the bonus fans. They've got a wee final display out again. <laughs> a long throw in here. Oh, oh it's a goal! Oh no, I don't know the referee blue. What was it? I don't know what it's for. It might have been because it went straight in from the throwing. Nobody touched it. Yeah. That's right, yeah, we're just to the guys either side of me who have said to remind me straight in from the throw and nobody touched it, there's no go. Oh! Oh! Oh, offside, is it? No, nah, offside. Oh! 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 Oh, 
Red card that was uh, sort of last man here. I never recorded it, but uh, I think it was two legs as the last man. So it's a free kick to bonus here. Oh. Saying it should be full time. <laughs> no, we'd like it to be full time. <laughs> oh, that's full time. There we go. Well, it's United 1 0. Oh, it's a bedlam over there. Oh, they've got a, they've got a pyro out again, but it's full time. No, we'll maybe saving it for a goal. Taylor, it was the best of games, we got through, that's the main thing. Aye, it was shaky, but we made it and we won. Aye, their keeper had a really good game as well. Yeah. Okay, good man, that was the best of games, but the important thing is you're through. Yeah, definitely. If you'd offered us uh, me and Stuart that before coming up, we would have absolutely bit your hand off. It definitely wasn't a pretty game. Uh, they made it really difficult. They've got quite an effective weapon that you've seen. I think they had double figures of long throws. Yeah. It's hard to defend. They've got a couple of big lads. It's hard yeah. to defend, but I thought we, we dug in. The pitch is heavy, as, yes. as it always is this time yeah. of year. Not a yeah. criticism of the pitch, it's just a heavy grass park. Yeah. But, um, and, you know, the main thing is we got through. Massive tie in the next round. That's it. Uh, Greenock Morton, that is, eh? Greenock Morton, so... Yeah, um, hopefully get a good crowd through there. Uh, we'll, we'll certainly take, I would imagine, we'll take quite a few travelling fans through. I'm yeah. sure the boys will be buzzing for it. But uh, there's a few league games between now and then for us of to Of course, of course, uh, but you, you can't stop thinking about that. But you're right though, the management team will be saying, hey, it's a look back to the league, you know? Yeah, big game Wednesday. We've got East Bride on, on Wednesday at yeah, home, which is right. a, a big tie for us. A win, you know, takes us up on the table again. So, yeah. Um, yeah, massive game again. We'll get the boys ready on train on Monday and back on Wednesday. But, Okay, thanks very, yeah, much. thanks very much. It wasn't going to be the day, but I'll tell you what, you, you, you made it difficult for Bonish United and you, and you certainly gave it a good effort. That was the plan, to make it to make it difficult for them and then obviously we wanted to defend in numbers but then obviously look to attack and pace. We It was a really, really tight game, there wasn't much in the game and no. I, I thought the goal was the offside. Was right. the offside for the goal? That was a wee on the other end to be fair. Um, but uh, you know, it's one of these things. Yeah, it's just that's <laughs> it. You know, and we've had we've had a wee chance. We've had a wee chance at the end as well. There, and yeah. We've had a couple of efforts in the first half. Our goal has made some great saves. So, yeah. it's one now for reflection. Probably on terms of what they've done in the game and the chances they created and our goalkeeper, the saves our goalkeeper made. But we've got to be really pleased and proud of what we've done in this this amazing cup run. Yeah, it's been a good couple on. It was a good crowd as well. So it's been a good day, you know, if, if you take the positives out of it. Yeah, yeah. It's been a good day for it. You've put uh, Lunker in the map. Honestly, the, the, 
the support that we've received uh, during the week and obviously all the messages and things like that, one cut to, to play in the Scottish Cup was was always a dream and it, we never ever thought it would be a reality but based on what the club done last year and to see it, to see this today and I've said to the players in there if, if this doesn't motivate them, inspire them to to want to create more days like this and I think the club has got a duty as well now to, to really support that and back that and try and get more days like this back at, back at Lung County. And, and, and this sort of attitude will be good for the league, won't it, going forward? Yeah, I think, well, you look at Dunbar, you look at Genefield, uh, Broxburn, I'm sorry if I missed anybody else out, but they're East of Scotland size and, you know, they're, they're all now in the, the third round of the Scottish Cup. Yeah. So hopefully, obviously, as you say, it's, it's good for the league for these teams and I just based on today as well, you can see the gap. The yeah. gap's not as big as what everybody makes out, no. so for us it's motivation and it's definitely inspiring us to, to kick on now and try and get up that league. Okay, thanks very much. Right, thank uh, you, Paul. Keen, Archie and Alfie, what are you called then? The Bleacher Boys. Right, and you, you had a, a, a bit of pyro as well, eh? Yes. Great stuff. We had eight flares. Eight? Was it eight? Yeah. Oh, I, I've got them in video, so well done the guys for getting a bit of atmosphere, okay? Oh, yeah. The Bleacher Boys on Instagram. Oh, well, have a look then. You've got a YouTube account. You've got a YouTube account as well? Same. All right, I'll have to look up then. Well, just search for Bleachers Boys. Ble yeah. Bleacher Boys. Yeah. yeah. Ah, good follow stuff. Follow good man. Right, okay. Also, also follow Nori Work. Right, thank you. Bye. Like, like and subscribe. Right, hey, cheers guys, thank you very much. Bye. Bye. It's great seeing the butcher boys there. Uh, I had a, a bit of pyro, but they never made as much noise as they should do, I think. Maybe the next time. We change again. Oh, Tell be the game. No, it was, uh, it was a good game, but uh, Cross Hill were by far the better team. Uh, right. They won 3 0. A penalty, then a goal from open play in the first half, so it was 2 0 at half time. Right. And then they managed to get a penalty with about five minutes to go there to make it 3. And uh, it was well deserved, like, you know, right. so... So you've had a good journey up here then, uh, I was presume a, you're coming by to the social club then? It was a great day, and I'm going to go to the social club and uh, have a wee drink, and hopefully a pie or two, and for an hour. Good stuff. I say it's amazing the people you meet at the uh, football. It wasn't the best cup tie, but uh, the most important thing for Bunny Sanities is they're through to the next round, a tie against New York Morton. I do want to mention, though, no, well, the steak pie, what oh, a brilliant steak pie you get here. Stevenson's uh, is a butcher up in Stanley, a village a few miles away from here. Uh, and right enough, I did hear people talking about steak pie. They are very good. £2.50, oh, a bargain. I'm glad I got one early on because I was sold out by half time. I really enjoyed my visit to Lancaria, speaking a lot of the officials and uh, really just my story about the, about the formation of the club. But also, you always got a good welcome in these sort of places. They've got a good social club and it's a place I would recommend you come. As always, thanks to everybody who contributed, uh, especially the, the, the management and the players, etc. who are always busy. I really appreciate them taking the time to speak to me. So, if you like what I do, uh, you know, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you behind the goals.